hi my loves welcome back in today's class i'm going to guide you on how to make this mesh bikini cover i'm out of yarn so i'm going to demonstrate this tutorial in a baby doll size so you can look at the step and make the exact size and length you want this is what i made in a different color so let's get right into the video So I'm going to be using this light with yarn and I'm going to double it as usual. So this is the only yarn I have left. <laughs> so to begin with, you make your slip knot and this is how I make my slip knot. I'm going to be using 4mm hook for this project. So after the slip knot, you are going to make a foundation chain of the size of your waist. So let's say if your waist is 28 centimeters, you are going to make a chain long enough to go around your waist. That is if you want your skirt to be fitting. But if you want your mesh to be loose, then a bit loose, then you are going to make a foundation chain of your hip length so take notes so i'm done with the barbie <laughs> barbie doll waist so now you are going to slip stitch together so make sure your chain is not turned when you are doing this process so you have to straighten it and slip stitch at the very beginning of your chain the very first chain so you are going to make a slip stitch and now you have a circle this is what you should be having in your own size so now you are going to make chain two and make a double crochet in the in the same space so you would have two double crochet, one double crochet because your chain two count as a double crochet. So after that, you are going to make nine chains and yarn over, count four, two, three, four, and double crochet in the fifth chain. So this is going to be the pattern and make another double crochet in the same space so the pattern is going to be chain nine skip four chains make two double crochet in the fifth chain chain nine skip five skip four chains sorry and make double two double crochet in the fifth chain let me repeat this again chain nine skip four chains make two double crochet in the next chain that's the fifth chain so no matter how your size is whatever size that you're making this is the pattern you are going to follow so keep repeating this until you are left with the last chain to end the row and I'll show you what to do. I'm at the last and after your chain nine now you are going to slip stitch at the very beginning the chain two space the very top so you are going to place you are going to make a slip stitch on that chain two space and pull through 
so this is what you should be having after your first row so you are now going to make slip stitch until four slip stitch until you are the top of your work like the middle of the first chain nine space and when you get there you're going to chain two and make your first double crochet and chain nine and keep repeating your two double crochet in the chain nine spaces so you keep repeating your two double crochet there so when you slip stitch let me go over again when you slip stitch you make your slip stitch then keep making slip stitch on the row until you are at the middle of the chain and chain two place a double crochet and chain nine make your nine chains and keep repeating this pattern until you are at the end so basically this is the pattern you are going to follow until you get your desired length for your mesh skirt this is what you are going to be doing so i'm out of yarn and i hope you have a fair idea of how the skirt is going to look like and how the pattern you are going to follow so you get to the end of your work so keep doing this until you get your desired length and yeah let us know how your work turned out if you haven't subscribed to this channel please please do and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always stopping by thank you for watching our videos i appreciate your comments and do kindly let us know where you are watching us from it's always nice to know so this is what we have so you have to just keep building on it keep building on it if you don't understand anything just go over the video again from start and just learn how to do this and i hope you'll be able to so this is the main project and i did about seven rules but you can do 10 if you want it to be a bit longer and that is all for today's tutorial stay blessed until we meet again next week hopefully with more yarn